Hi, I'm Tanya from My Vinyl Cut, and I'd like to show you my little secret on working with patterns in the Silhouette Studio design software. So I have the Business Edition, and I also have a MacBook Air. So if you're following along and you have a different software version and a different computer, it's probably going to look a little different, and that's why. But I wanted to go ahead and show you um, this banner that I have on my mat right now and that I'm designing for somebody. She's a fellow vendor at a market that I do and I'm um, still working on it but um, the background I have here it is just a rectangle that I drew with this rectangle tool and then I filled it with um, this pattern but she has a specific pattern she wants me to use um, copying it off of her um, business card she gave me. So uh, I'm going to show you the first thing that I do. So I want to highlight it, like select it, and then I go to my library and then I make sure, like here's my library, but I make sure my patterns are selected. And in here, this is the one that I chose, but this is actually the one Linda wants for her banner. Um, so I select it and I go back to design and it automatically changed it. So instead of opening my panel here and searching through it, like this is your fill color, this is the gradients, and this is your pattern panel. And if you noticed before I had like over 3,000 installed, um, I could like scroll through here and look for them. But just to be quicker, especially if I know the name of it, I just installed it, so it installed it right here. But um, it, like if I close out and open it back up, it's gonna be sorted by alphabetical order. So like if I know I want, uh, I don't know, leopard, um, I can just type in leopard and here comes everything, even my designs, not just my patterns. That starts with the word leopard. But if I, um, just know that I I downloaded it right away I can just get it it's at the front but you can actually just change it by tapping on something different see it changed it so I'm gonna change it back because that's the one she wants and uh, I want to show you another little trick so it actually looks really good the way it is right now but just say it came in really big like that that's how like it really came in so what I do is I go down here to the scale and scale it down. You can just slide it with this or you could just use the arrows. So you can play around with it like that. And then say I like it there but I don't like the way it lines up here. You can click on pan and when you have this little circle in the center here you can grab it and move it around. So you can manipulate your patterns a little bit better. Um, I don't know if that's quite in the center, so I'm going to click this and this to select both. And I'm going to go to my Align tool, and I'm going to align it. Um, and then I'm going to group it. And then I'm going to select this and this and center that as well. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah. Okay, and then I can group that, and then I need to change this font because this isn't the font she wants. I just typed something up quick just for the video. But I um, hope you learned some, you know, neat little trick that I use by just selecting an item and then going to the library and clicking on it instead of scrolling through here. It saves a lot of time, and then you can pan and scale and you can even change the angle like if you wanted it I actually have to ungroup it all to show you but if you wanted it to be like crooked you know kind of sideways you select just it and then you can change it like that but you don't want to do that with this or you can you know turn it upside down it just depends you know on what the pattern is and these tools can help suit your needs. So if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. 
And if you want to get notifications when I make a new video, which is once every blue moon, click the little bell so you'll receive a notification when I have a new video out. So I just like to show you little, little tricks with the silhouette cameo. I do have Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, and I know a lot more can be done in those programs, but they're very hard to learn. I, I don't know them very well, so I do a lot of my designing in the silhouette, and it, um, it has a lot of capabilities, so I, I like to use it, and if that's all you have, um, then you um, always, you know, could learn something new from others. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.